Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and I am in the uh, prototype Gundam, and that is Duchess there in the fantastic Starscream colored gun cannon. I love that. But, yeah, so I hadn't run the proto in a while, and I wanted to give it a shot. I decided to try coming around the side, which was a mistake, as you're about to see. I figured with the entire team facing that way, which it mostly was, I could I had a shot at getting that sniper, but I decided to let the opportunity pass because moving up would have mean, meant moving into the whole team. Uh, hit MS Bop there and was about to follow up, but they finally noticed I was there and I am just dead. So yeah, don't don't separate yourself from your team like that, even if they're fairly close, because if you're down the hill and they're on the hill, you're dead. That's just it. So. That 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 was that was a quick death, and as you can see, not off to a great start. Uh, 700 to 50, so probably I'm the second one out with the uh, numbers like that. So, ah, 595. That's a little bit better. And now it's about even. So yeah, we're we're catching up. If I can just watch myself, it'll be fine. And yet, I I love that color scheme. That was great. So now I am looking for a target, and. There's a Jim Cannon, which if I can get in on it is an excellent uh, opportunity. Missed with that. Man, even with type advantage, my uh, Vulcans did not do a lot there. That is a Jim Cannon, right? Yeah, that is a Jim Cannon. Managed to miss it with absolutely everything, but at least pulled myself back out of trouble after I did, so that's something. And now I've got the combo going, because that's about the best you can do with that, in my opinion. But... There's a reason that melee-oriented mobile suits are best used against uh, uh, support types, and one of the reasons for that is that supports do not have dodge rolls, because anything with a dodge roll could probably have broken out of that combo just as easily as anything. But without one, it's not that easy. And I just put myself into a predicament again. There's a gun and pixie doing pretty solid damage to me. And there's the Dom I was uh, trying to, uh, to stab, and something else, so now it is just time to leave. So we've managed to pull into a pretty decent lead here, and of course we're all on Discord, so everybody I think knows at this point where I am, but I'm just trying to get away and it's not going to work. Yeah, I tried to tackle myself out of that. Did not happen. So, that was... That was one of our random drop-ins. It was a bunch of 5v5s with two randoms uh, this week, so... Worked out fairly well. we still got a pretty good lead. Could be better. Now it is slightly better. Could still uh, be yet better, so... Especially now that they've gotten a kill. You, you know how this works. It's still 2-1, to one, though, so that's pretty good. And... Let's see, I saw a pretty good opportunity in that Dom, so... Tried to get down on it, but did not quite get there. But I'm glad that we've got more raid types in this game that can actually uh, that can actually uh, use stunning weapons. Because stun being uh, such a big part of this game, it kind of has to be you kind of have to be able to use raids that can stun if you want to be you know viable. So yeah, uh, the the. The answer they came up with for the stun lock meta of the first game was to give everybody more stun options, and it's kind of like game balance on a good day. I'm I'm more okay with it than I was in Battle Operation 1. But, okay, I need to, yeah, I managed to not get the tunnel vision and not go bolting after that person, at least not, not immediately. When I realized that I'd be clear of the sniper if I got behind the rock, I figured it was a good time to... Caught him with side swings. Knew I could not get a forward or down swing uh, to finish that off, so just pulled back. There's a bomb at our base. Got the uh, got the uh, Jim Cannon. Got caught. I'm pretty sure that's MS Bop again. Who uh, who? Yeah, like he said, we, he and I were just kind of fated to end up uh, fighting each other in just about every match we wound up playing. So yeah, but. Yeah, I, I managed... Uh, it, I only got caught by that swing of his by a tiny bit, but it was enough. But luckily the team was right there, so he couldn't follow up. Got the assist on that Dom. And 
There is not a lot of point to going back there to try and defuse the bomb, because I probably can't. But if there's somebody back there to hit, and somebody shooting me out of nowhere, then it would be worth it, but I'm not sure where I'm being fired on from. I think well, way over there. As it is, though, I am... Our base is shot, but we still got a lead. And right now I'm just looking for some kind of safe spot to set down and repair, or an isolated enemy I could go after, having fi found none of either. Okay, there's a somewhat isolated enemy. I'm still in a bad spot, though, because one shot, and there's some people over there that could fire it, like that one, and I'm dead. But he's still somewhat isolated. And poke and stab. I got the shield, so I didn't get a lot of damage, I think, on that second swing. But I decided to pull back because, I, again, I am nearly dead. Don't really want to give him a chance. There's really no point, unfortunately, to uh, pulling back to the base to repair when the base is destroyed. On top of which, airstrike was me, so no point in pulling back to repair anyway. I didn't expect to be it because I was moving fairly quickly and I was away from the rest of the group, so... But somebody figured out what I was doing and, you know, good way to capitalize there. We still got a pretty good lead. And just dropping in in the middle because it looks like that's probably going to be the best place. Somebody coming up be uh, behind us very quickly. So it is an R2 type, the late model high mobility. And caught me with his uh, Heat Hawk. Nice color scheme. That may be salty, I'm not sure. But no, it sure isn't because he's on our team. What am I thinking? Oh, well. But that's Bop again. He is in a pretty good position to shoot, but I didn't want to get too close because of that Jim Cannon back there. There's also a tank, which we don't really need go uh, going around, so... Caught the tank. Caught the owner. And... Got the Jim Cannon again. That's probably going to be a kill. Or close enough. The Freak Kai behind me can finish it up. Or... No, nobody managed to quite manage it, but that's okay. I, I started this, and with my Vulcans, I will finish it. There we go. 30 seconds left. We've got a pretty solid lead. There's that uh, R2 Zaku again. And just waiting for a good shot. Got caught by the Heat Hawk again when I thought I'd be outside of the range. Salty missed me with his Beam Naginata. I'm sure he... Uh, I'm sure he planned that because, yeah, if you, if you have a good uh, knowledge of the arc of the, of the Beam Naginata, you can hit around your allies in some really impressive ways. With five seconds left, we have got this, and I don't think there's much else I can do, so I'll just fire a shot if I can, and I can't. So, yeah, pretty good round. I, I've done worse in the Proto, and I did ultimately get some of the important business of uh, stabbing support uh, classes down, so... Yeah, not bad. I was the most targeted, and that's about the best I can uh, manage, but Zero got the top score with his uh, Gym Sniper 2, so... Yeah, pretty good round. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!